Hey everyone, Scoop Science here. Uh, what I have here is a, an experiment setup. This was designed by my friend and it's a way to see how resistance changes with distance. So I've got my multimeter here hooked up to a power source which is just a um, 9 volt battery you can see there. And then I've got a rule under here so I can measure the distance and this is a thermometer just measuring the temperature. Right now it's sitting at 19 degrees Celsius, so that's the temperature of the water there. But what I have here is where I'm going to be writing my results. Um, you can see, so 0 centimeters, 5 centimeters, 10 centimeters, and 15 centimeters are all the different distances I'm going to try. I've got their volts and amps, so I'm going to measure those two. That is just so I can calculate resistance using R equals V divide I. I believe that is. Anyway, let's get straight into it. I'm gonna measure, so you can see right now that is eight volts. It's a nine volt battery, but it is from a few tests I was doing last night on this. I actually ran it down. I think it was like 8.9 volts when I started, but so I ran it down there. But anyway, so I'm gonna start off by touching these leads under the water. Now, I'm doing this just so we can eliminate any variables here. Well, it froze at 0.14, so I'm going to call that 0.14 volts with touching. Now, I'm going to swap over. I'm going to swap over to amps. Rearrange these. So I can now measure amps. Now touching under the water, nothing. Of course, so now let's write down the results. So, zero centimeters volts, 0 0.14, and zero centimeters amps, 0, 0 0.00. There we go. Okay, so now let's change this back. Okay, so now I'm going to go for five centimeters distance. So very picky work. I'm going to put this one on 12. That means I have to go on 17. Now what do we got? 12, and this is all under the water. 7.78. Okay, write that down. 7.78. For five centimeters, let's go 10, there, 15, 25. Interesting, 7.8 for 10 centimeters. That's not what I would normally expect, but this is what we're getting. So, this is interesting. Let's go straight to 15 centimeters. Hand is in the way. 7.81 so it went up 7 that's very interesting because with the greater distance for that these are apart I would expect this measurement to I would expect it to decrease considering having it further apart does equal more resistance let's have a look at this Okay, the temperature of the water as well has changed by one degree, so it's gone up to 20 degrees Celsius. So that was over the course of doing, of measuring this. So we got a temperature change of one degree Celsius. And the final results. So you can see that I had a couple of tries here, but they kept varying heaps until I got some consistent enough results there, but so 0 centimeters, volts, amps, 5 centimeters, volts and amps there, 10 and 15. So now, if I plug them into a calculator, I can work out the resistance for each of those. So after doing some calculations, here's what I got. Of course, you cannot divide by 0, so I got an error for 0 centimeters. 5 centimeters, I got the ohms being 11.79.
than 10 centimeters, 14.72. So that was an increase, which is what I expected. And then I got for 15 centimeters, 15.62 ohms. So from 5 to 10, that's a difference of 2.93. From 10 to 15, it's 0.9, and from 5 to 15, that is 3.83 ohms. So that is some very good results that I got there. Um, I think there's one more calculation that I want to do with this, and that involves the temperature, which is now moved up to 20 from 19 degrees Celsius. Okay, so here is the final result. So you've already seen that. But here's two more equations up here. Energy equals 4.18, that's just a standard that's constant, uh, times mass and then times change in temperature. So 4.18 times 0.5 kilos times 1 equals 2.09 joules of energy. Um, that was in this experiment just before and this equation down here is resistance equals variable that's what we'd be calculating times length times cross-sectional area so this equation I don't technically have to use now this is just used for if I wanted to work out the resistance for say like a hundred meters of water which I would go to I gotta say the resistance would be very high I don't think I'd get a reading at all with a hundred meters but that's just in case I needed to. So anyway, this was the final results from 5 centimeters to 15 centimeters, 3.83 ohms of resistance, and the final energy was 2 joules, basically rounded down to 2 joules. So anyway, if you did enjoy that video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.